Well, Joe, busy schedule recently. We did have the opportunity for a break this past weekend. How was that for you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, obviously, we had some international players away, so gave them an opportunity to go and represent their respective countries and hopefully have a really positive camp. And um, yeah, we've we've been here trying to uh, yeah improve throughout the week um, and, and yeah, get prepared to come back in this week and uh, prepare for Sunday. Perhaps come at a good time as well with a lot of travelling recently and then going into three games in 10 days, starting with this weekend. Yeah, looking forward to having some home games. Um, feels like a long time since we played at home, certainly in the league anyway. So yeah, looking forward to yeah run of games at home and um, you know really good games to look forward to. And um, yeah, I'm sure that you know we'll be well prepared um, and hopefully yeah be really competitive and, and positive for us. You've made another addition to your squad. Holly Turner has arrived from Billericay, a goal scoring forward with a good record and good good presence. What are you hoping that she can bring to the team? Yeah, fits the profile of player that we always try to um, have at our football club, and you know, really keen to improve. You know, still at a really good age, and um, yeah, has a real presence um, in terms of um, you know, really powerful centre forward, um, and and yeah, gives us an opportunity to potentially change the shape in what we do, give us something a little bit different, um, and yeah, really good person. You know, really really settled in well. Um, and we're looking forward to having her for the remainder of the season. There's also been a departure. Zoe Barrett has left the club after three and a half years. I mean, what would be your, your message to her as she, as she moves on for Pastures New? Yeah, we, you know, have had Zoe for, as I say, three and a half years and really enjoyed working with her. You know, great person. Um, has really improved, I think, since she's been with us and a really committed player, um, you know, from, from how she trains to how she plays. Um, and yeah, for, for Zoe, you know, she was really keen to get more game time. And whilst you know, we didn't want her to leave, um, you know, appreciate the fact that, that she wanted to go and get some football. And, and we tried to help facilitate that for her uh, till the end of the season. You mentioned the players away on international duty, Joe. Four players in total and a really successful international window with, with Freya and Sarah scoring for England. And, uh, and Abby Smith and Megan Waring both winning their first caps for their respective countries too. Yeah, really positive And, you know, it's really pleasing for us all to see them um, make an impact and represent their countries like we said earlier certainly for Megan to you know get her first start same for Abby um, and yeah good to see Sarah and Freya make an impact and get on the score sheet as well for England. What's your assessment of, of Watford from that meeting three weeks ago? Really good game really competitive um, you know for the neutral that was there on that day I think they've, they've come away really enjoyed what they saw um, fast-paced game that wasn't the cleanest but yeah certainly swung both both ways and obviously you know, Watford um, capitalised late on to, to get a point um, and we'd have taken lots from that as I'm sure they have and um, yeah we're looking forward to meeting again. Obviously disappointing for us to concede the late equaliser but do you think the girls can perhaps use that as motivation going into this weekend? I don't necessarily think that that, that goal will motivate us any more than we would have been anyway. Um, obviously we were trying to see the game out and sometimes momentum can swing when you've got nothing to lose which they didn't have at that time and, and we tried to contain them as best as we could but wasn't able to do that so hopefully going into this Sunday you know we can put ourselves in a position where in front again and, and capitalise even more and, and give ourselves a bit more of a cushion if the game allows us to do that um, but yeah we'll try and prepare for every eventuality and um, try and control what we can and hopefully we'll get a positive result. There's nine games to go, plenty of football still to be played, but are you viewing this as perhaps a must-win game? No, I don't think so. You know, it's a game that we, we're so desperate to win, but you know, I've only got to look at the past few weeks and results and you know, MK Don's coming so close to getting a point Sunday um, against Watford, so Oxford obviously picked up um, their first defeat at Cheltenham so we know that these results can happen and there's plenty of football to be played and we have to just make sure we're not on the end of one of those and, and we can try and be really positive and, and pick up as many wins as we can. Just finally Joe earlier on you mentioned the, the, the run of home games we're going to be having four successive home games at the AGL Arena I'm sure after a lot of travelling that's going to come as a, as a welcome thing. Yeah hopefully and it'll be a really good atmosphere at the AGL and Hopefully we'll get some really good crowds that will be backing us and driving us on and um, we'll try and play as best as we can to ensure that they want to keep coming back and um, spurring us on to win games.